know the news and commentary. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you like, click, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel for more news and commentary. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, they keep killing us. This is the latest continuation of police officers killing unarmed black men, black women, and black children in this country. Now, this article is very disturbing. This comes from WAPT, which is ABC affiliate in Jackson, Mississippi. Now, this brother is named LaKenya Washington, and I'm going to read this article in a second. But it was reportedly he was involved in a domestic violence. It was a domestic violence call. But late, but later on in this article, you're going to feel so angry like I am right now on how police officers is continuing to kill us. And I understand about the anti-Asian, you know, violence that happened. But it seems to me that it, this, the killing of anti-black violence is still going on. They sweep it under the rug. And it's, it's, just, it's just annoying that this has continued to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and read this article. And again, it's from WAPT, ABC 16 uh, in Jackson, Mississippi. It says a Jackson, a Jackson man died. Excuse me. Excuse me, y'all. A Jackson man died after being arrested by police last week. Loved one said LaKenya Washington, 45, was bleeding heavily from the back of his head when officers responded to a domestic disturbance call at a home on Wednesday. Jackson police spokesman officer Sam Brown told 16 WAPTS Ross Adams that Washington had smoke embalmed fluid. Washington's girlfriend, Aaron Davis, said he was hallucinating and turned violent. Okay, so he tackled me to the ground, and that's when my daughter got, got him off of me and called the police, Davis said. Now, according to Davis, Washington did backflip on the sidewalk during his hallucination episode, severely injured his head. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what you about to hear is really, really sketchy. Here we go. They say when police arrived, David said her boyfriend was bleeding heavily from the back of his head, but officers ignore her request to call an ambulance. I said that he needed to some, uh, I said that he needed to some, I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I said that he needed to see some medical attention and the officer informed me. Oh, that's the problem. Y'all always want to send him to the hospital, but I'm fixing to handle this. Just aggressive, David says. Davis says officers dragged her bleeding boyfriend from the home in handcuffs and threw him in the back of a police car where he started shaking. She claims she heard an officer antagonizing Washington. The officer stated to him, you needed to stop shaking like a stripper. I was not putting two and two together at that time. Now I'm thinking maybe he was having a seizure in the back of the car. That's why he was shaking, Davis says. Washington's sister, Kanita Washington, said she heard that her brother coded shortly after arriving at the jail in Raymond. He was then sent to Mary Health Hospital when he died on Thursday. Washington's sister said family members want answers about the moment leading up to her brother's hospitalization and death. She said so far, Jackson Police has not reached out. I'm going to stop you right there. When anybody, I don't care who you are now, this I know this is a domestic violence call. I understand that. But if he had seizures or if he was hallucinating or he, he had bleed in the back of his head, you they need to call an ambulance. And Jackson police refused to even do that. In other words, they want the brother to die. And then when they sent, when they sent, um, LaKenya Jackson, I mean, excuse me, LaKenya Washington to the hospital, it was too late. And, and a lack of police account, that's what I'm saying, a lack of police accountability that these things continue to happen. And when the family member reached out to Jackson police about this, they don't want to comment or they said we're not reaching out. But you allowed this man to die. You could have saved this man's life. But y'all refuse to do that. You literally killed this man. 
And it happened in their custody. Let me continue reading this article. I just want an answer. I wanted to know what happened from the time he left here to the time he made it to where he is now, said Kanita Washington. Washington's loved one said negligence by Jackson police officers contributed to his death. At this point, yes, I think JPD is responsible because it could it could have went a different way, said Kanita Washington. Jackson police spokesman Officer Sam Brown said the department is reviewing body cam footage. Hens County Coroner Sharon Grissom Stewart said Washington cause of death is pending an autopsy at the state's um, medical examiner's office. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the WAPT 16 article. See, y'all, this is this is what I'm saying, that this is a continuation of police involvement of killings. Now, yes, he didn't get he didn't get shot by officers, but yet they could have saved his life and they didn't. So it's so so they told him that when they, you know, foamed in the mouth, when he bleed in the back of his head, they should have called the ambulance then. They could have saved his life, but they didn't. And even though this is the domestic violence call. If the if a person is bleeding, in, in, I mean, internally bleeding in the back of his head, and he is hallucinating, like he suffered a seizure, their job is to contact an ambulance immediately, or they they could at least put CPR to save this man's life. Either way you look at it, they could have they could have took him to the hospital as soon as he had his, his head is the back. I mean, is bleeding in the back of his head, and then he's hallucinating. These officers deliberately grabbed this brother while he was hurt, while he was um, hallucinating, put him in the back of the squat car. And they didn't care about this man. They didn't even save this man's life. So, y'all, let me know what you think about this. I mean, to me, it shows you that this is the continuation of police. Literally, police allowed this man to die. They could have saved this brother's life and they didn't. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just sad that, you know, I, I was on um, Clubhouse earlier today and a brother said it truly said, you know, we need to police ourselves. And the way I feel right now, this is a continuation of black men being killed by the hands of the police. And, and then, or they died in police custody. Y'all let me know what you think. Like, click, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. Rest in peace, LaKenya Washington. This is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.